I have been waiting months to be able to say this. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Brandon Hodge vlog. This video is brought to you by SeatGeek. If you guys are looking for tickets for any event in the entire world, just use my last name, Code Hodge, and save yourselves 20 freaking dollars. So good morning, everyone. Uh, today is actually Tuesday, July 13th. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. Now, what am I doing at nine o'clock in the morning on Tuesday, July 13th? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I'm going to the airport. I'm actually having to go to Charlotte Airport because it's so much cheaper to fly out of Charlotte. Uh, than Bristol, because Bristol's such a small little town, such a small little town, and the flights are so much money. So I'm driving over to Charlotte. It's like a two and a half hour drive from here, so that's what I'm doing right now. So we're gonna keep this very fast paced, because inside this vlog, there's gonna be like three different days. So three days in one, so three vlogs in one. You're just getting your value here. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm driving to Charlotte Douglas International Airport, and I'll explain the rest on the way. And just like that, I am now in Philadelphia. So Philadelphia is where I'm staying literally just for the next 24 hours. I'm gonna do some interesting stuff tomorrow, which we'll talk about tomorrow. But something interesting that happened to me today that I wanted to talk about is I flew from Charlotte to Philadelphia, right? I landed at Philadelphia airport at like 4.30 p.m. or something like that. And then all of a sudden the plane, you know, just like stops after they land and they don't go moving towards the gate like they normally do. And then the guy like, you know, flying the plane, whatever his name is, Mr. Captain or whatever, he comes over the loudspeaker is like, ladies and gentlemen, we are not allowed to move. And we are actually waiting on Air Force One to take off. And I'm like, what? Wait, what? Air Force One's the president of the United States plane. His plane's here. He's here. So the captain says that, and I look out the window, and what do I see? I see none other than Air Force One, the plane itself, and, and I guess Biden was in there going back to the White House. It's pretty much shut down the entire airport, so I was delayed a little bit, but at the same time, I wasn't terribly too upset because that is kind of a cool thing to see when you're not expecting it but anyway tomorrow is a very very big day i'm here in my hotel now it has like a full kitchen and everything like that not much of a view but anyway i'm gonna get some rest and i will see you guys actually tomorrow not much of a view i do have to say good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the second day of this one vlog i'm doing like a three in one vlog so obviously i'm still in philadelphia just woke up today it appears to be quite a sunny hot day out there in sunny philadelphia so what am i doing today is the question well i'm doing a few interesting things i'm gonna at least go to independence hall check it out also i'm actually going to something called east penn penitentiary which is like a retired uh i guess prison i'm gonna call it the alcatraz of the east i guess it reminds me of Alcatraz a lot when I went out to San Francisco, California and went to Alcatraz. So I'm going to check that out. Uh, also, I'm in Philadelphia, so what do you eat in Philadelphia? you got to get a Philly cheesesteak. So I'm going to try to find a good Philly cheesesteak here. So that's kind of the goals for the day, starting off the day here. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to go out. I'm going to do some fun stuff. So let's go. And I am now down here, downtown Philadelphia. I, right now, I am literally walking to Independence Hall. It's literally only a few steps away. We're gonna check that out. I have never been to Independence Hall, even though I've been to Philadelphia like three times, but it is where the Declar Declaration of Independence was signed here in the United States, for the United States when they first uh, invented that thing. So uh, yeah, go check that out, I guess. What I can remember from being in school in my textbooks and stuff, I believe 
that's what the building looked like. I do gotta say, it's a lot smaller than I was expecting in person. But then again, things were smaller back then. Yeah, even the people were shorter, so I guess that kind of kind of makes sense. But yeah, that's where the decoration was done. So like a big food court in here. I also went and checked out the uh, the Independence Hall. I didn't actually end up going inside. Didn't really have time, but now I am here at a place called uh, the the Eastern State Penitentiary. Possibly one of the most haunted places in the entire world. Uh, this is the Alcatraz of the East, I guess. The most famous prisoner who ever stayed here, I guess, was Al Capone. Okay, I'm here at the East State Penitentiary now, one of the most haunted places, I guess, in all of Philly. <laughs> Gotta say, yeah, that doesn't, uh, that does not look too pleasant. Let you go inside of this one. It's quite uh, quite small. I don't know if I can even fit on that bed to be honest. I'm going up now. Good God. And I'm the only one here. So this is, uh, yeah, this is not creepy or anything, being alone in this place. <laughs> thing to mention online I saw this was like the most haunted place of the entire prison because that's the uh, the torture chair you guys see that can you guys see that there's a ghost wait the camera going out of focus I just saw this room and it says recharging station. You walk in, it's very air conditioned, very cold. The rest of the prison is not air conditioned. And there's a TV, so you kind of just, just, just sit here on the bench, relax and watch some TV. And I gotta wait on my plane because my flight is not uh, for like another five hours. So yeah, I'm gonna hang out here. Oh my God. That is a bit different than the other cells here. I do have to say in comparison, this to his cell. Yeah, it looks like he had a, a little bit of pull around here. Came here to the Springfield Mall, just something to do uh, until my flight, I got like two or three hours to kill. Yo guys, I want one of those. That kid has that. I want one. I think I saw Enzo Amore on one before. I'm not being the healthiest this time, I gotta say, but pizza, I don't know, it's cheap, it's decent. Okay, I'm freaking exhausted. It's like one o'clock in the morning. I just now landed in Dallas. Just now got to, to my hotel room here in Dallas. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted to say the least because I've been up since like nine o'clock this morning doing stuff all around Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Now I'm on the other side of the country in Dallas, Texas in just a matter of hours and I'm exhausted. I'm ready for bed. So I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow. So now it is actually the next day, and that's where this vlog is actually going to end, and we're going to pick up on the next one. So the next one, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be. I don't know if I'm going to do like a discovering around Dallas vlog, or if I'm just going to put it all into the money in the bank, you know, event vlog. We'll have to wait and see on that, but uh, basically, that's going to do it for this one, and I'll decide on that. But there will be more vlogs this week here from Dallas, as well as other videos I've pre-filmed from my studio in Tennessee. But ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. Thank you guys for checking out the first, uh, the first vlog of my Dallas trip, and... Uh, uh, yeah, that's gonna do it. Right now on screen, I'm gonna leave a link to two previous videos for you guys to check out, as well as a button to subscribe to this channel if you're brand new here. But I am Brandon Hodge, your king of vlog style, and I will see you guys in the next video.